For 359 years, the Royal Marines have stood ready to answer the call. To protect our nation and maintain our place at the pinnacle of UK defence. Whether it is on high profile operations or discrete special operations, the Royal Marine expertise has been front and centre throughout the year. This year we celebrate our 359th birthday. On this day we reflect not only on our history but also on our future. We are a warfighting organisation and our readiness for the fight remains at the core of our identity. Our birthday provides us the chance to celebrate together in what has been an outstanding year for the Royal Marines. Throughout our long and illustrious history, the face of warfare has evolved time and again. Technology has changed, strategy has adapted, and the world around us transformed. The world is unpredictable, and the threats we face are ever evolving. The Royal Marines, with its commando force of agile, adaptable, highly talented commandos, able to operate forward of conventional forces, is now more important than ever. It's not enough for us to be merely good. We strive for excellence with integrity, self-discipline and humility. The world is changing rapidly and as new threats and challenges emerge on the horizon, Royal Marines will continue to push boundaries to meet those challenges head on. Amidst all of these changes, one thing has remained constant, our unwavering commitment to our values and standards. They are the bedrock upon which the Royal Marines have built their legacy. They are the guiding principles that have shaped our actions, defined our character and set us apart. By sea, by land, Royal Marines have delivered on operations throughout the year. Commandos were central to the evacuation of UK nationals through Sudan, have executed a string of impressive counter-narcotics operations, remain poised to support maritime counter-terrorism operations and will also form the spine of the NATO Maritime Special Operations Task Groups. The Royal Marines Band Service continues to be at the forefront of that important role that is the representation of the Royal Navy, the Royal Marines and the nation. This year, we have celebrated relationships with partners, both new and old, and I am incredibly proud of the warrior bond that continues to transcend borders. Now more than ever, it is incumbent upon all of us to seize every opportunity to train with a sense of urgency and purpose. We must train as if it was the last opportunity before deploying our operations. As commandos, we have returned to our hunter roots, but supported by world-class technology to ensure success on the battlefield, maintaining the fearsome reputation and legacy of the Royal Marines forebears. Of course, success could not be possible without the support of our families and loved ones. Behind every Marine is a network of support and strength and I'd like to share my heartfelt gratitude for the sacrifices made by those who stand by our side to allow us to focus and succeed on operations. So, to all Royal Marines, you are not just a fighting force. You are a family, courageous, determined, unselfish, cheerful. And I could not be prouder than to serve in the same corps as all of you. As we reflect on our 359th birthday, let's stand united, ready to fight for the next 359 years. Thank you all for all that you do. Happy birthday, Royal Marines. Per mare, per terram.